Good evening, my name is Hayley Clacey and I'm the head teacher of Spen Valley High School. And it seems very strange to be talking to you like this rather than at our normal open evening. But I'm sure you'll appreciate with the current COVID restrictions, we have to do things slightly differently this year. It's a great shame though, because you won't have the opportunity to meet firsthand our outstanding and dedicated staff. And most importantly, some of our truly amazing students. But we've put together a short video that accompanies this and we're also holding a remote Q&A session with our senior leaders on October the 8th. I've also been lucky enough to visit our local primary schools remotely and I've thoroughly enjoyed meeting your children and answering all their questions. Now I've been a head teacher for eight years and I've delivered speeches like this every year during this time. However, tonight, I don't want to give you the usual spiel, the sales pitch. Firstly, because I'm a really rubbish salesperson. And secondly, and probably most importantly, because choosing the right secondary school for your child is one of the most important decisions that you will make as a parent. And you need to know, honestly, what kind of school we are and whether we suit what you want for your child. I guess it's a little bit like match.com, but rest assured, I won't be posting any throwback picture of my 20 year old self to deceive you into choosing us. What I want to briefly talk about is what type of school we are and how we work. In short, what does this is spend mean in reality? What we are is a truly comprehensive school and this is something of which I am inordinately proud. We have high aspirations for all our students, but we are also genuinely inclusive. Like all schools and like all head teachers, I know that exam results are essential they open doors of opportunity for our young people. But we also believe strongly that they do not define our children. Our children are much more than this. Before any learning can take place, we need to ensure that our students are in a good, emotionally secure place. During the time at Spen, many of our young people and their families will experience upset and difficulties in their personal lives. Sometimes that will significantly impact on their academic progress their emotional well-being, and sometimes their behaviour. This is a key focus for us, and over the past couple of years, we've introduced some initiatives that will help us support our students to develop the resilience that they will need in their adult life. We've developed a restorative approach to behaviour. What this means is not about jumping through a consequence system and copying out lines and attention. It's about allowing students to reflect on their actions listening them and working together, staff and students, to resolve a situation. In some cases, we the staff have got it wrong, we need to acknowledge that. But, but rest assured, it's not about being soft on children. It's about helping our students to understand the impact of their actions and to genuinely regulate their own behaviour, something they need to do as they get older. Of course, for some students who face more complex issues in their lives, this can take more time. And to support them, we have our personalised learning provision, which provides bespoke support programmes. And we have our wellbeing centre and our school counsellor for students with specific emotional needs. You may know, and certainly those students that we visited remotely, we have two wellbeing dogs, Steve and Ted. Some of your children have already met them. And sometimes talking to them, taking them out for a walk with a member of staff, or even just having a cuddle can help a student in distress. We're also part of the Alex Timpson programme. This is an initiative run through Oxford University to develop our understanding of attachment and trauma in young people and the impact on their behaviour. What I'm trying to say in short is we try to be creative in finding ways to support all of our students and build good professional relationships because only then can learning take place inside the classroom. With that in mind, like many other schools, we've spent the past year reviewing and developing our curriculum. We've been thinking carefully about what we teach, why and how we teach it. You may have heard about some schools historically gaming the system to enhance results. This is not considered to be good educational pr practice and as eth ethical leaders, we don't do it. It's important that we provide a broad and balanced curriculum, both inside the classroom and through enrichment opportunities a curriculum that will enable our students to gain deep and powerful knowledge. 
one that will inspire their curiosity and genuinely develop a love of learning. A curriculum that develops them to be happy and successful adults in every aspect of their life. And most importantly for me, enable them to confidently stand shoulder to shoulder with any person from any background. Now, I'm a mum of four teenagers, two of my own and two stepchildren. And it's vitally important to me that we work well with you, the families. Now I will admit that the relationship that you have with the secondary school is not the same as the one you now have with your primary schools. And that's mainly because your child does not want that. It's really hurtful to us as parents, but they don't want you to be waiting at the school gates or dropping them off in the playground. And the reason for that is they're becoming adults. However, that does not and should not mean that we don't communicate with you. Far from it. It's really important that we work together. Often parents say things to me like, my child would never lie to me or my child wouldn't do that. And whilst we appreciate that you are the expert of your child, we are the experts of working with teenagers. And together, we can pull our expertise to support your child through the teenage years, which let's be honest, even the best of times can be quite sad and worrying. I want our parents and carers to feel as much a part of Spen as their child. We will get things wrong and so will you. There are no manuals for your child. So please speak to us, advise us, celebrate their achievements with us. And if necessary, we'll have the kettle on and tissues to hand if you ever need them. Please don't post your concerns on social media because we want to resolve any issues you may have with us and we can't respond to this as often we don't have access and it does cause upset for our staff who have no right of reply. At times we might have to agree to disagree but we will always try to work with you. So I've told you a little bit about what we are like as a school and how we work. I know you'll be looking around other schools over the next few weeks and like I said at the beginning it's really important that you find the right match for you and your child. Many of you know that I joined Spen Valley High School two years ago and like you I came to look round before applying for my current post and what I found on that visit was something very unique, something very special, something that was almost tangible when you walk around the school and that is vibrancy. Students with an inquiring mind, strong personalities and a real sense of what they want from a school and staff with a genuine passion for working here and compassion for support, to support our students to give them the very best life chances. This is Spen and I desperately wanted to be part of this. Being here felt for me like putting on Cinderella's slipper. It felt perfect. Before I finish, I want to say something to you that I've said several times to groups of parents over the years and I make no apologies for repeating myself because I think it's really important. And it's this, being a teacher is the best job in the world. I believe it's a privilege and the responsibility we have to you is something that I do not take lightly. If you choose this school, we will treat your child as if they are our own children. I enjoy working here at Spen Valley High School more than I can say. I'm proud to be its head teacher and when I came to look round this school I knew in my heart it was the one and I genuinely hope that you will feel the same. Thank you.